a book written by Stanley Kojokara. Discerning the Signs, a guide to recognizing and interpreting God's messages. In the Bible, God often communicated with his people through signs and wonders. From the burning bush that Moses encountered to the star that led the wise men to Jesus, these signs were not only miraculous but also carried significant meanings. Today, God still speaks to us through signs, but many of us fail to recognize and interpret them. The ability to recognize and interpret divine signs is crucial for our spiritual growth and journey. In John 10 27, Jesus says, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. As his followers, we must learn to discern his voice and messages in our lives. In Mark 16 17 to 18, Jesus says, And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them, they will lay their hands on the sick, and they will recover. These signs are not only for the apostles but for all believers who have faith in Christ. In this book, we will explore 25 different signs that God uses to communicate with us. These signs include dreams, visions, numbers, nature, people, scriptures, circumstances, supernatural events, and prayer and fasting. Each chapter will delve into the biblical examples of these signs, their meanings, and how to interpret them. We will also discuss how to develop discernment and avoid common pitfalls when interpreting divine signs. As we seek to understand God's messages in our lives, we must remember that He speaks to us in various ways. Proverbs 3 5-6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. When we acknowledge God in all aspects of our lives, we open ourselves up to His guidance and direction. Join me on this journey of understanding divine signs and learning to discern God's voice in our lives. Let us seek to follow Him more closely and fulfill His purposes for us.